Okay guys, I have tore up my kill guard and now it's time to replace it. And what I'm about to show you will change your life if you ever have to replace your own kill guard. So if you have not, please hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, we appreciate it. And we'll keep on bringing more videos right back at you just like this with tips and tricks, guys. All right, every YouTube video out there that I could find had a heat gun, it had a plastic scraper, and I had a whole lot of heartache to get a kill guard off and get rid of the glue. So I was down at PTG Outdoors in Mississippi the other day, down there by Grenada, and I was out back talking to one of the mechanics, and one of the other mechanics was replacing the kill guard. So I started paying attention because I knew mine was all tore up. What did he had was one of these dudes right there. That is a rubber eraser wheel that you can pick up at O'Reilly Auto Parts. I saw them in there this morning. They're about $24 or so. Of course, mine, um, I, I kind of snatched it on my way out because I was already there at PTG. You can pick up everything down there, anything you need. But this will save your life and we're gonna get this kill guard pulled off and then we're gonna get to showing you exactly how to get it replaced. Let's go. It's on there pretty good. Yeah. The easy part's done. Let's throw that away and get in there on the grinder. All right, what I'm doing here, so I'm gonna take the wheel and turn the drill on i'm gonna take that wheel what i'm doing here i've got my eraser wheel and i'm gonna turn this on and just start going up and down through here to get all of this glue off it'll start balling up like this right here and you have to be careful because when it balls up it gets really really hot so you don't want to go grabbing a hold of it until it's had time to cool down You can see it just keeps on rubbing it back. It's rubbing it back. So I'm gonna get on with this and not keep you all on this one spot too long. Okay, the other side is done. Now you noticed I started on that side and I came up. It's because of the direction the eraser wheel was spinning. I was throwing that glue up over the top of itself instead of trying to spread it out everywhere as I went. So when I come to the port side, because of the direction of the wheel and the way I'm holding it, I'm gonna start the top and go down. putting my kill guard on and down the edge of my kill guard I got a lot of very light scratches they look like they can just be wet sanded out so I went over to Walmart and I had bought this for my headlights okay that's just a headlight restoration kit it has got my 1500 and my 2000 grit disc in here that you can use on a regular cordless drill so I stopped what I was doing in the middle of my kill guard and I wanted to test this out and see if that will take care of some of these scratches underneath this boat before I get the kill guard back on. Let's get under there. Oh, wet sanding, you need some sort of water. Wet sanding, okay. Well, you need some soap. I already had some diluted super clean in the garage. So I grabbed that, grabbed my headlight restoration kit and now let's get under there and see if we can't get some of these scratches out of this boat. I just went ahead and did this side. 
that's what it looks like after a little bit of wet sanding and this polisher. Wow, is all I can say. I am extremely impressed for like $17 total. You can do something like that. I just, I just slid you back there so you can see this is what it did look like. And now you can see what it looks like now. That is very, very impressive. That looks a thousand times better. Right there is your finished product in that section. That is the same section that we've been videoing this whole time. And that is a pretty drastic actually almost unbelievable improvement that is what it did look like that is what it looks like now so all i gotta do is get finished up look at those scratches that have been taken out with just some buffing okay now that that's over that is uh the hardest part of this and I do suggest you start it maybe one evening and finish up the next day because when you get done, your arms are gonna be absolute jello. Now, on to the next step. This is denatured alcohol. And no, that is not the same thing as regular alcohol like you use in the bathroom or to clean a cut or whatever. This is some bad stuff that you need to wear gloves, you need to wear glasses, and keep this stuff off of you. What that's for is to get any of the glue residue that I left behind. So I'm gonna jump underneath there and I'm gonna wipe this dude down with this denatured alcohol. You can pick that up at uh, a lot of hardware stores, uh, tractor supply, uh, stores like that will have it. And it is different, it's not acetone, there is a difference. This stuff right here is bad to the bone, so you really gotta watch what you're doing. So let's get under there and get that glue off and get ready to put this kill guard on. You can see how fast that stuff's evaporating. So as long as you stay out from underneath it, you haven't got to worry about a whole lot of drip. Just don't put too much on your rag at once. There you have it guys. Wow is all I can say on the difference. Let's run around here and check out this other side. <laughs> yeah, I told y'all I broke my slider or my creeper. There it is. Here's the other side. This is the one that had that big rebar gouge down it. And you can still see, well, that I didn't, I didn't buff that spot good enough, but my arms was hurting. <laughs> there you go. Less than 20 bucks, took out most of those scratches and made the front end of this thing look like a brand new boat. All right, uh, it's been a little bit because I had to wait on uh, Amazon to get me my uh, gator guard. I've unrolled it out of the box. Got red tape on one side, kill guards on the other. I've just got it laying out on my boat to let the sun hit it to make it a little more pliable for putting it on. The only thing you're gonna need is some rubbing alcohol, some uh, paper towels. This stuff comes in the pack with the gator guard. It does say, do not open, do not unfold this until you get ready to use it. That is a uh, adhesion promoter. So what we're gonna do, first off, I'm gonna wipe down the area with alcohol, let it dry, and then I'm gonna wipe it down with uh, the Scotch Bright, and then the adhesion pr promoter. The biggest thing about any of this is not to be touching the boat with your hands after you've wiped it off. You'll get oil on there and you'll cause your kill guard not to stick. Then when you open the adhesion 
promoter. You need to not open it until you are ready to put it on. Put it on, then you're supposed to wait five minutes, let it dry, and then line your kill guard up and get started. You can see right here, it has three pieces of tape on the bottom. I've only peeled off the center. I'm gonna line the center up and I didn't go back but about 18 inches. I'm gonna get that started before I pull any more tape off to make sure I get it good and straight. I'm running my fingers in, in each side. The seventh rib on this is the center of my kill guard. So I'm eyeballing and trying to keep the seventh rib right about the peak of my bend in my boat to keep myself good and straight. And as long as you don't really push hard on it, you can pull it right back off and adjust it and then go back to applying. There, I've got the center of it done. Now I'm gonna go down each side, pulling each run of tape off one at a time and folding it over and getting it tight. I started right here uh, about eight inches back from my uh, U-bolt that ties me on. You're supposed to run your kill guard eight to nine inches above your water line, which is well past when it's sitting in the water. I'm way back here. So that's why that I started that far back. Plus if I hit anything hard up in here, I was on plane and that kill guard ain't gonna stop nothing no ways. Well guys, there you go. Please like, subscribe, give us that thumbs up. We appreciate y'all tuning in. Hopefully this will get you to where you don't have to go to a mechanic shop just over a kill guard. We'll see you next time.